Hi. Um, this is Bob, um, CookieBot Zero here. Um, and I'm doing a walkthrough on a programming thing that I just got into. So, uh, bear with me if I haven't mastered it yet. Because I started it, like, literally half an hour ago. Like, yeah. So, just wanted to show you guys how to do it, in case any of you guys were interested. So, the first thing that you want to do is download, uh, yeah, basic, which is the, um, the first stepping stone on your travels to become a programmer. So, I'll have the link in the description so that you guys can download, yeah, basic. But, yeah. So, you want to do that right away. After you've done that, I'm just going to open up my notes here. Um, you'll want to open up your notepad. Now this, this is, okay, no, no, never mind, no, never mind that. I'm going to open up, yeah, basic. Okay, just open it up. And it'll, and it'll tell you all the uh, copyright stuff, and it'll, um, your program will execute immediately and cannot be saved. So you can't, you can't save it right now, just with the, with the, yeah, basic. Regularly, you have to, um, go into your notebook to do that, but well, you don't need to save what you're doing right now. So, what you want to do is slash slash. Um, this looks really old to me, I like it. I enjoy this quite much. So you want to go slash slash, and uh, every time you put a slash slash, that means you're basically giving a note to yourself or whoever is looking at it. It's not actually telling the computer to do anything, so... Classic Hello World. This is like the very first thing that pretty much all programmers should do. It's tradition, so you gotta follow it. Um, type print, which is your very your your most simple um command in this in this language in the basic language. Um, print tells the computer to put something on the screen. So you want to put print hello comma space world exclamation point and what print is basically saying is put what is between these two these two um, quotations on the screen without the quotations so that's basically what you want to do so you want to have separate lines and then after that you can just go like end I guess maybe you want to do end enter okay so I think you double hit it oh whoops I screwed up okay I'll do that again I'll be right. okay I'm back sorry about that uh, since it doesn't save it it'll delete itself after you push enter three times so you want to push enter once and twice so it'll say, hello world, program done, press return. So there's what you call input and output. Input is what you plug into the computer, like what I just typed into the computer, and output is what you get. So this, these three lines right here are input, and this is the output. So you want to push enter, and that will automatically close it. Now the next question is, how do we get it to save? I'm so glad you asked. Um, you want to go to, uh, your notepad. Hopefully you have one. Most computers do as far as I'm aware. And then you can enter that. Okay, um. And then you can start saving what you have. So you want to open notepad. I'm going to start out by saying, hmm. We'll put a password on this, okay? So we go slash slash password lock. Enter. So you want to tell the computer to. You want to push two, enter to, to print. Oh, and by the way, this print, this print, and this print, capital P and lowercase p, those the same thing. It, execute, it executes the same thing. The one's just less work. Prints. Yes. 
password. And um, and then you wanna guess the password. Um, and then what you wanna do is um. Slash tell player to and put A. And these are just little notes I'm making to myself so that I know what I'm doing. Um, you can do that. You don't need to. You can just have the two in the print, but I just added these. Just to show you guys it in case you wanted to use. Um, input. Input A. Input A. Pretty sure. No, I was right about that. Input A. Enter. And then you want to put a if. And ifs are pretty interesting. If basically tells it that if this, if this is what they inputted, then do this. Basically. So you want to say if A equals, um, our password shall be 1234. Great password equals one two three four and then you want to put then whoops then and then enter what that if is basically tell if this if they that's what they put in for a which is a variable so if that's what they put in for a then and it's basically like this except then is this and if end will be this this uh, quotation mark so then you want to put print good have a cookie and then we'll put in a smiley face because I'm that awesome. There we go. Good, have a cookie. Um, and then you want to put end if. These are basically your quotation mark. Um, then is your first quotation mark. After that, it tells you to run all the lines after that. And then you want to put end if. Okay. Um, what was I about to do? Uh, enter. And then you can put in as many ifs as you want, really. If A, we're going to put in more than sign. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If A is more, so if they put in any code that is more than one, two, three, four, then print wrong by by and. Wrong, bye bye. So that's what you want to do. And then you want to put in and if. Now, since I'm lazy, I'm going to highlight this, copy it, and paste this. And then hit enter right there. Okay. So, and then we just want to change this sign to this sign. Okay. So, basically, what you're telling it to do is this is all listing under 2. 2 is basically a, a label. You can tell it to replay 2 if you want to, but you don't really need to. I use 2 a lot in that sentence. Okay, so print guest password. So that this is all input. Print guest password. So you're telling it to put out guest password. Input A. So they're going to have to type in something. If A is 1, 2, 3, 4, then print. Good, have a cookie. Smiley face. And if, um, if A is lot, if, um, if, uh, A is smaller than 1, 2, 3, 4, then print wrong, bye bye. If A is larger than 1, 2, 3, 4, print wrong, bye bye. So basically what it's saying, if, if, um, it's not equal to what it's supposed to be, then print that and then end. And then what you want to type is end, and that ends your whole code. So, hit file, save as. This is important what you save it as, otherwise it'll just list it as a regular notebook. Bracket, I mean quotation mark. You have to have the quotation mark in there. Um, pass code dot um, 
what was it? One sec. It was Pask. Oh my God! I just forgot it again. Oh, Yab. Okay, so you go Pasco dot Yab, and then you put another quotation. Now this, this right here is what your file is gonna be named, and this is just telling it to put it like in the Yab program, so that you can run it as a code. So you want to save that. Close this. Hopefully we don't get any syntax error. Uh, yeah, yeah, basic. Um, you want to go to your notepad and grab your passcode, throw it on your desktop, and double click it. So, oh boy, there's an error. Uh, syntax error at A. Okay, that means I did something wrong. So, if you guys come up with this problem, follow what I do. Um, let's see if there's an error, then they won't run the program, which isn't fun. Uh, so you want to go back and look for error. Oh boy. Um, notepad. That's good. Okay, so it told us that the error was like right here. I think, okay, I'll be right back and I'll fix it. Okay, found the problem. See, sometimes you just look over all your code and you notice something. See, when I told it to play, it's like error at line 5, syntax error at A. So I was like, okay, check line 5. So you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 down. There's a problem with this line. You want to look at it, and turns out I put I put. You guys might have noticed. I'm sorry. Okay, it should work now. I'll just save that. If you guys copied me, just change that. And oh boy. There's still an error. Isn't that fun? Okay, I'll try that again. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Um, input A. You don't know what A is? Oh, uh, then you're stupid. <laughs> okay, I'll see if I can fix it again. Okay, found my issue. Um, it was that uh, I put thing. Um, it's just I changed it and I saved it, and for some reason it didn't put it onto the desktop. Like it didn't change the version on the desktop. So, oh, that explains a little bit more. I came up with this problem like 20 minutes ago and I couldn't figure it. Okay, okay, I got it. So I just re-entered it in and now it's working. So click on it and you get the output. Guess password. So I'm just going to enter in a random passcode. Enter. Wrong. Bye bye. Program down. Press return. Closes it. And you have a saved thing. One, two, three, four, five, wasn't it? No. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four. Bad memory over here. Good. Have a cookie. Smiley face. Now you can change. You can change that. You can change it to. Say I was trying to remember. Oops. So you want to edit this? Oh, because that's why I was doing it here. So you want to go edit like that instead of reopening the thing like I was. Um, you can change it. Like say you're trying to remember somebody's phone number. Say I was trying to remember Rick's phone number, and you wanted it locked up. There's like trillions of possible combinations in this. There's infinite number of digits that you can make your password, so it's pretty. And so you want to make it do 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 do. do oops. Do, 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 do. Say so that's his phone number. Then you just save that and save, and then you can run it. And then you enter in the password, one, two, three, four, enter. And then you get his phone number, and nobody else sees it but you. So that's the joys of programming. Okay, guys, I'll let you know with the next stepping stone as soon as I figure it out. Um, thank you guys for watching. It's been a good tutorial. I hope you guys can use this and experiment with it. There's some other tutorials online that you guys might want to look up. So... Yeah, thanks. This is CookieBot Zero here, signing off for this tutorial. 
Um, bye guys, see you later.